What's up, guys? It's the next day after my precipitated withdrawal. Feel like I got well, sort of like I got hit by a truck, but minor symptoms now. I mean, I'm just comfortable. I'm just comfortable right now. I do have like chills, but that's it. It's really only like day three. So I let the buprenorphine just rip the rest of the fentanyl out of my brain, and um, it really sucked. I even <laughs> huffed nitrous a few times, which helped. The lingering effect was no anxiety and no chills. Took away all the pain. It's almost like putting myself under <laughs> anesthesia detox. <laughs> but um, just, you know, small increments throughout the day. It wasn't much, but oh my God, it helped. And But I suffered, like it, it sucked. I have panic disorder, imagine. It was hell. I'm not really, I'm not even sweating. I'm just comfortable right here. And the only reason I'm tired, like, I actually got like six, seven hours of sleep last night after that. Remember my video I put when I was in my driveway? I recorded myself. I said, I think it's over. It ended and, you know what I mean? It's long. It was long, but it went fast, but it didn't. I can't explain it. Don't do it if you, seriously, if you could do it the easier way, just do that. I did it because I was mad at myself, but it helped. Um, today I have ch just chills. I have a little kratom. I take, like, if I wake up in the middle of the night tonight, I'm going to take that. Helps you for, like, six hours. I'll sleep the rest of it through. Um, sleep helps if you can somehow get it, but I know it's impossible for the first two days. Only reason I slept last night is probably because I was so tired from all the um, precipitated withdrawal I put myself through. Evil. I was butt fucking the devil by doing that. You know how I butt fucked him because I survived it, and I called his Uber home. Yeah, so I don't feel pain. I don't feel. I know the kratom's not working right now. I haven't taken it since way early in the morning just to have a comfortable morning that's all and i only micro do it took some little of it um might take some soon just to get you know eat dinner and stuff and then before i go to bed um try to do it you know before i go to bed because then i could sleep most of the hours if i wake up for some reason and chills it's fine you know but the hot flashes they're not there they they literally went away <laughs> after all that fucking precipitated withdrawal it all went away like the bad stuff you know the stomach cramping the oh my god i actually did i took a modium i took an emodium and an odonistrin for the vomiting i didn't throw up i didn't shit i felt like shit though don't don't it doesn't make everything better trust me i was in that you know fetal position the whole, I went into sweat. I've never seen my body perfuse that much sweat in three seconds. And it all happened. I didn't shoot the sub. I've never shot anything in my life. Um, I put it under my tongue. Three minutes it took. Bam. It was only like 13 hours after my last fentanyl use. Holy fuck, man. When I tell you, it's scary. It's an instant panic attack. Which, if you can somehow control your anxiety through it, it will make it a lot easier because your sympathetic nervous system's freaking out. So if you can somehow calm it down, which I did with the nitrous, it calmed my sympathetic nervous system down, and my body reacted as an, oh, okay, maybe things are okay, you know, and then it comes back a little bit, like, after, like, 20 minutes, but I kept doing it in increments. I bought a box of, like, fucking 50 of them just so throughout the day I can just get through that because, man, that shit sucked. But I let all the opiates out of my brain. I just, they all were just, I imagined it happening too. I imagined it just, boop, 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 pulling them all off as if someone was just up there. Like, you ever see a monkey, like, picking out their, their little ones, and whatever bugs out of their head, their hair? It was like, that's the poop and for taking out the fat. <laughs> I want to make a meme. Don't steal my idea. But, um, yeah, I look like fucking, uh, 
I look like I belong in the Middle East. I look like Jafar right now. <laughs> so, yeah, man. Rod this one out. Uh, I'm really not going to slip again. The only reason I slipped was because of this girl was buying them. I was making money off of the drug she was buying is the drug I was doing. But I was getting them for her and I was making profit money. One time she slipped me a little quarter of a pill and I was like, I did it. Thank God. And then that led to another one and then another one. Not a whole, you know, not going crazy, crazy, but it was a strong it's fentanyl. And I just detoxed about a couple weeks before and I was completely clean of it. So, but I don't think I was. I think there was still some left over because it sent me into full blown withdrawal within four hours after using. Now, mind you, that last piece I had, like the day I had that piece, I was like, all right. I could maintain a little easier. I wasn't so, like, oh, I got to use it now. I was like, all right, I'll wait until I'll take this piece now and then this little piece later. And that's it. Well, later, I took the piece, but <laughs> the withdrawal was coming. So I took that piece, little piece, broke it into a smaller piece, smaller piece, made three hits out of it just so I could not get withdrawals throughout the night. Barely made it through the night. Before I started getting sick. Fentanyl, getting... those M boxes, the 30s, they're yeah, no joke. The headaches, if someone offers them to you, I know that they're gonna that they feel the better than anything you ever felt. They really do. But also know that you know. It will fuck your life up. It'll take everything from like, everything. Everything. The pleasure center of your brain gets fucking terrorized. Like, it sucks. So, anyway, I'm tired of withdrawing anymore. I think this is the last time. Uh, it's cool, though, because I remember making videos recently when I was cleaning off of it. And now I'm here again, but shorter duration, I would think, this time, because there, there probably wasn't as much in my head as there was, obviously. Um,. But I put myself to that precipitation just so I could finish it in 20 hours or so. So, it's lingering. It's just some chills. That's it. I have an appetite. I'm actually starving. So, just updating you. I'll be back soon. Don't go away.